Hi, Danny Bedor here, and I want to talk about common misconceptions about investing outside of your immediate area. A lot of the things, I've been doing it for 10 years. A lot of the things I've been hearing from investors are, will it rent? What if my property manager is a crook? How can I, you know, do I know the area? If it's a good area or bad area? Those are all good points and, you know, important to understand. After 10 years of investing outside of my immediate area, I live in Silicon Valley, California, and I have invested in multiple states around the country. I have never actually invested in my own backyard. Um, after doing it for so many years, I can tell you a couple of things. In most areas, if you buy properly, if you buy the right property, you know, property in a good area, it doesn't have to be a cheap one, doesn't have to be the most expensive one, but let's say a middle class, upper middle class area, or maybe a lower working class area, all of those are just fine areas to buy in, you will end up with renters. It may take you a week, two weeks, maybe a month, maybe even a month and a half to rent this house, but from my experience, it, it eventually gets rented. Nowadays, I see the rent, you know, getting, uh, getting houses rented even faster than a month, but it can happen. So the chances of you not renting the, your house assuming you didn't buy anything adventurous, are very, very low. I assume you're going to buy properly. The fact that you are going to work with a property manager will help you accomplish that. All the property managers I've been working with in the past years turn out to be not crooks. Actually, good, hardworking people that want to please me, the owner, and the investors they work with, and to provide them with the best returns. Property managers know that if they do a good job, then the a client will stay with them, will bring more friends, or will use them to manage additional properties. It's important to check who you're working with as a property manager, but don't work under the assumption that all property managers are crooks. I'm sure there are crooks out there, but there are good, hardworking people out there as well. I have been you know, fortunate to meet those people and work with them in different parts of the country for many, many years. So when you are considering uh, investing in real estate, property managers are not necessarily your enemy, they are your friends. Um, will you have vacancies? Absolutely, you will have vacancies. In between, you know, tenants are moving in, moving out, you will have some vacancies, you will have some repairs, you will have some expenses, but if you think about the bigger scheme of things and you hold the property for many years, then you should be confident that if you buy properly, and even if you don't choose the best property available at the point that you're making a decision in the marketplace, but you just pick up a good property in a good area, then your house will be rented. It will have some issues. You will have some repairs over time. But in the bigger scheme of things, this is not going to be dramatic. Your house is going to be sitting there, you know, most of the time being rented and with a tenant and will just work for your advantage in the background. This is Danny Bedor, and I'm, I'm thank you for watching my short uh, video segment.